Hi, welcome everyone to today's math class. We have this radical set of equations before us here. The first one is root a plus root b equal to 1. And the second equation is root a times b equal to 2. What is the value of a comma b that will satisfy these simultaneous equations? So take our solution straight forward. So first thing we do here. Is to take equation one and square both sides of the equation. So if we square both sides of equation one, it's going to give us bracket at the square root of a plus the square root of b all to the power of two equal to one to the power of two. Why are we doing that? We want to eliminate the radical square root radical. So if we do that, one square will give us one, and this will give us our a plus our b plus our two root a b equal to one okay if you open this gradually that's what that will give you now if we have this equal to this if you take a look at this term we have in here that is what we have in our equation two so from equation two we are having the square root of a times b which is this very quantity we have here is equal to 2. So we can do a simple substitution whereby we put in 2 in place of the square root of a times b. So doing that, you're going to have here a plus b, then plus our 2, then bracket our 2 equal to 1, which is end up giving us a plus b plus our 4 equal to 1. Okay, so what we do here, move this term to this side of the equation, okay? So this is going to give us a plus r b. Then if you move this, it's going to give us minus. So four minus one will give us our plus three equal to zero. So let's give this equation three. So we have equation three now. Now what we're going to do here is to take equation two this time around, and we square both sides of equation two to also eliminate the square root radical we have here now. So we say here from equation two. From equation two, square both side. Oh, sorry, let me put in two here first. Okay, from equation two, equation two, square both side. Okay, so the square both side, square both side. So this is going to give us the square root of our a times b all to the power of two equal to our, our two to the power of two. This goes with this. So we now have a times r b is equal to 4. Okay. Now from this expression, a times b is equal to 4. We want to make either a or b the subject of the formula. But here we want to make b the subject of the formula because we want to solve for the first variable a. Okay. If we make a the subject of the formula here, then our first variable is going to give us b. But we want a situation whereby a becomes the first variable. So we want to make b the subject of the formula here. So doing that, this is going to give us our b will now be equal to 4 all over our a. Okay? So let's give this equation 4. Okay. Now we want to put equation 4 into our equation 3. Okay? So we say I put equation 4 into equation 3. So we bring down our equation 3, which is our a plus our b plus 3 equal to 0. So wherever we see our b there, we put in 4 all over our a. So this is going to give us our a plus 4 all over our a then plus 3 equal to 0. We eliminate this 3 and how we multiply it through all the terms we have here by a. And if we do that, it's going to give us a to the power of 2 plus 4 plus 3a. Of course, 0 times our a will give us our 0. Okay, so just rearrange this. If you do that, it's going to give us a to the power of 2 plus 3a plus r4 equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. So what we do here, we solve this for 
the value of a and the method we want to apply here is the formula method okay so using the formula method so we're going to have here using formula method we're going to have this to be our a now in this place now because we have a in the formula we're going to represent our uh, a here with a n to differentiate this a from the one we're going to have in the formula of course this is the formula here we have our minus b plus minus the square root of our b squared minus 4 times a times c right all over 2 times a so you now see that we have a in the system but this a is different from this a here hence i'm using a n here a n is equals to 1 and 2 okay so from here i can say we are a sorry we are n rather we are n is 1 and 2. we tell you why i decide to pick this one and two because we are going to have two answer from this place here so we're going to have a1 and a2 okay so a n is equals to this so here our ordinary a so we would have your a is equal to the coefficient here which is one and our b is equal to um a three and our c is four the constant there so if we substitute we're going to have a n this is equal to our minus b here there plus minus the square root of our 3 to the power of 2 minus 4 times our a1 times our 4 which is c all over 2 times our 1 okay so from here let's forge ahead so this is going to give us here our minus 3 plus minus here is going to give us if we manage this case here so here we're going to have 9 then minus 16 all over our two so let's continue on this side and see what this gives us okay now it's going to give us our a n mind you we have our a n is equal to here here we have minus three plus minus nine minus 16 that will give us minus seven so it's going to give us the square root of minus seven all over our two but remember that the square root of our minus one is equal to iota. So if we have the square root of minus one equal to iota, we can split what we have in here now as the square root of minus one times the square root of seven. And so we can bring in iota in here. So this is going to give us here minus three plus minus the square root, sorry, iota into the square root of seven all over now i told you something that our n is equal to one and two so we want to split this answer because we have two roots from here now so we're going to have our a one is equal to if i decide to split this this could be written as our minus one all over two bracket we're taking the positive sign first so we have here three because this is positive and we decide to bring this minus out automatically this will become minus iota root 7 those bracket and our a2 is equal to our minus 1 all over 2 the bracket here this is minus so definitely since breaking this out here is going to give us positive so we have here 3 there plus our iota root our seven close bracket here okay so from here we can equally solve for our b1 and b2 but from this expression we have here it's an indication that our b1 and b2 are going to be a conjugate of this and this all right so how do we get our b1 and b2 let's spread this out first so yeah if you check equation, uh, which of the equation? Equation four. We've already made b the subject of the formula. So from here, we can quickly substitute into this equation and uh, get our value. So we say here from equation four, we have our b is equal to our four all over a. 
All we just need to do is just to change this to our B1 and this our A1. So if we substitute this, going to give us our 4 all over. Yeah, look at our A1. Okay, so our A1 is this. And if we do this, we're going to have minus 1 all over 2, bracket, our 3, then minus iota root 7, close bracket. If you simplify this, these two, we go up to multiply this for here. So this is going to give us our 8 all over, here we have minus our 3, then plus our iota root 7. We can rationalize this denominator, and I've done that already. When you rationalize this denominator, then this is going to give us our B1 is equal to everything here. Where in order to rationalize this denominator, you multiply by the conjugate of this. So you multiply the numerator and the denominator by this conjugate. And when you do that to simplify that, our B1 is going to give us our minus 1 all over 2, there, bracket our 3, there, plus our iota root 7. That is our B1. And our B2, from this also, if you walk down, substituting our A2 into this, then it's going to give us minus 1 all over 2, there, bracket our 3, then minus iota root 7. Okay, so these are the two pairs of roots, okay, that will satisfy this original equation. This very one and this very one. To substitute this into the system, we discover that it gives us this, and to put it here, it will give us this. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this math class. Thank you for being there to the end of the class. See you in our next class. But in there, keep winning. See you.